Guys, if you're looking to produce fantastic professional vector art designs, logos, whatever it may be, then Kittle is for you. I'm telling you now, it's absolutely fabulous. I want to do a very quick mini tutorial to show you how to use it, benefits of using it and how fantastic it is because it literally is the best thing at the moment. Now, obviously, there are many different platforms out there. But listen, Kittle is the one not only for this kind of thing, but for many, many things. I use it pretty much for all my designs, for sizing, editing, you know, creating, wherever it may be. And it really is fabulous. Now, I'm on the homepage right now. Remember, you've got free access. You can try it out right at the bottom there. And I just typed in Vector. What's beautiful about this is it gives you also trending designs. So it gives you lots of trending ideas trained in designs which you can create yourself um, uh, and and sorry adjust yourself whether it be the text adjustment whether it be removal of the image and creating your own image but it literally does produce lots of fantastic vector designs for you and actually you can also go ahead and create your own users fantastic image generator using prompts and i want to show you also how to do this so not only do you have an array of examples and also trending vector designs which you could use for whatever you'd wish it for um, but you can also produce your own so i've just clicked on this this one right now the ghost cat if you like and uh you know look if if it was a simple case of looking and using something that's trending you could do that and obviously maybe if you wanted to change up a part of it whether it be the font the the writing around the image or whether you actually want to remove the image and keep the writing then you could also do that too okay so i brought in this design again which you may want to use and you, you might want to change up let's say and remember kito has those trending designs so it's always good to have and see what they've got and then actually you know make it into your own whether it be you're changing the design or or in this case if i just wanted to change the sort of font uh sorry the name so i might call it cat shadow just for the sake of this video change the word from ghost to cat cat shadow obviously you can uh, change up the writing here on the side you've got all the text styles this is the text style that's been used you got the text sizing you got the color you got the transformation you got the text shading which is there as well which you can change up as well uh, you have everything that you need to make it into your own design style, guys, which is uh, amazing. And then obviously, you know, you can download it as a true SVG file. So obviously here are your download options. You can remove the background if needed, optimize the quality. You've got various sizing, which you can do. It gives you everything to actually edit your uh, vector designs properly. And then obviously you've got file for file type. You don't want it as a PNG. You want to download it as a SVG. And it actually downloads as a true SVG because there's platforms out there that don't actually um, download it to the true, the right format. Now, not only can you use those trending designs as I've, as I've just shown you now and then adjust it into your own style, but you can also create vectors designs from scratch on Kittle. So let me just delete ghost cat with the writing around it, get rid of all of that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go across here to these tools. There's loads of tools here from templates. Remember you've got your templates here, um, which you can use, um, and you can, oh, and it will also give you some popular designs like vectors as well, which is amazing. Um, and then you've got all these other tools here. So I'm going to go to, um, image generator right i want to create an image generator and what's really excellent about kittle look it gives you vector styles so i can even choose if i want to just focus on vector styles i can choose a particular vector style that i want to do so it might be this just very simple sort of silhouette type i might click on it if i click on silhouette type and then what i'll do is i might describe my image as i don't know it might be panda right uh panda panda with coffee cup <laughs> <laughs> let's generate the image let's see what i got what's going on with that one right so what's going to do hopefully it's going to create for me a panda vector um with a coffee cup see what happens there again you can write and put as much detail as you want on the prompts and i do definitely suggest you should do that to get the exact image you want i've just been very vague right now just to, for the sake of the video just to give you an idea of what it can produce and there you go it's actually giving me a panda with a coffee cup it's crazy accurate right and you know there are different styles that i could produce so let's say you know this is one sort of design that i want and remember, these are vectors, right? I might choose this sort of cartoon style 
vector or emblem there's an emblem style i might do actually emblem style again i'm going to type uh, panda with a coffee cup keep it the same but in that slightly different emblem style so what is great about this for whatever use you want the vector design to be for you can produce something suitable here and you can actually create it yourself look there you go this is a completely different style in a true sort of emblem style and and that's what's amazing about Kittle. it's got these true vector styles which you can use uh, and create your own style and i mean look at this this is some beautiful line art style you know i might even do a panda in a line art style let me just i want to keep the same prompt those words so that at least i can do a little comparison in the styles so that's what i suggest is whatever image you've got in your mind put the prompts for it and obviously depending on what style you want click on the style so that it can generate it for you now hopefully it's going to give me a third idea i've got my two different ideas one silhouette one emblem style and then hopefully it's going to create a third one this is fantastic i love this one very sort of like a, a cartoon-esque actually i like this a lot all right and obviously you know like i said uh, you can enlarge it and do whatever you want with it it's a true vector and then what i can do is you know choose the one that i want obviously and let's say i get rid of these two i'm happy with this one i might add some text or some obviously i probably would add some text to it uh possibly uh it's bigger you know i might add some text to it i might put t and then just type in i don't know choose a choose a style remember there's so many different styles you know they give you also those trending styles that you could use i might add a sort of you know some kind of writing to it in style call it something like classic panda and just to give you an idea i'm not going to put the design together with a font but i just want to give you an idea of you know the kind of fonts you have the array of beautiful fantastic font styles that you can use um, are absolutely amazing you know um obviously also it brings in lots of those you know beautiful trending ones uh, that you can also use um for this i mean look i've even i'm all, i've even i haven't even gone to the letter b look i've gone to b now that's how many for font styles it's got so it definitely gives you you know a lot of different uh, styles to this let's have a look at this one you can click on it and then see what they look like this is called broken wings oh i like this one this is this is fantastic that that kind of does work so think about how the design's gonna go i might have classic at the top and panda along the bottom um, which i may do so let me just uh, duplicate this you know and obviously i can you know create my design however i want it it just basically it just makes your life so much easier you know you can do exactly what you want how you want to do it um just it just it's absolutely the easiest thing to use and and like i said what's what's great about it is just a true vector and this is the this is what i'm keep trying to say you know kind of line can get it all lined up for you um and you know obviously you can create your own design and do how you want with it obviously but yeah this just gives you an idea and when you want to download it or you want to actually create, get your design you might want to put maybe if it's a logo whatever is a design around it a circle or do something with it extra um but yeah it, you can just download it as a file type go to file type and download it as a true svg it's the easiest thing to do guys absolutely fantastic platform go check it out free access there i know you're gonna love it see you on the next video